Hey there, Stone Processing Universe. I'm Brandon from Beyond Clean, and I want to welcome you to the Beyond Clean Mailbag Series video, where you put us on the spot with your questions. If you've got a question that you want us to answer, there's a few ways you can send it our way. You can send us a message to Facebook or Instagram using the handle at Beyond Clean Podcast or you can send us an email to info at beyondclean.net. If you want your question to be featured on a mailbag series video, make sure you type mailbag into the subject line of your email or into the body of the direct message on the social media platform. With all that said, let's get to this episode of Beyond Clean Mailbag. All right, Sterile Processing World, it's time for our next mailbag question. Currently, we are documenting multiple things in multiple places for our sterilization processes. We write info on load cards that come in the challenge pack. We document things in a binder and we enter info into the tracking system. Is all of this necessary and can we streamline it in any way? I'm going to kick it to Hank first. Yeah, so I love this question, Mike. Um, and there are a lot of different answers that can be true. So I don't want to act like I'm going to answer all of it on the direction that I'm going to go. But I just want to start us by saying uh, it's good that you're having this problem, person who asked this question, because it means that you're trying to document, which is a good thing. We see a lot of folks in the industry when we're on site consulting who have holes in documentation uh, because they're not taking all those steps that you need to to document. So you're kind of on the other side of the spectrum of you feel like you're documenting too much. And what I'll say to that point, uh, Something, again, that we see in the field on these consulting projects is if you're documenting in multiple places, especially if it's a manual documentation, you've got to be very, very careful that that duplication is correct. Now, I'm not, I don't think you need to be duplicating. And I think there's other solutions and options out there. And maybe the rest of y'all, you know, can kind of speak to that. But um, the uh, challenge in multiple documentation is if you write on that challenge card, for instance, but then you put something different in the computer, and then a surveyor comes and you have a real problem because which one is the correct one? Uh, and I see this time and time again, in particular on the manual documentation, I see a lot of that, um, that that's filled out partially because we feel like uh, I put that other information in the tracking system, so I don't need to write that on the card. That one's already documented elsewhere. Well, then what you have is all of these pieces of documentation, none of which are the complete story and documentation for actually what happened in your sterile processing department. So I feel like that's the real challenge there. I, I agree with you, Hank. Um, as I think about it, I think it's chapter 13 in Amy that talks about record retention. And it specifically says, paper or electronic. So it doesn't tell you what you have to do. But to Hank's point, it is important that when you have surveyors in house, or even your leadership that wants to look up your records, they need to know where to find it. And if it's incomplete or missing or contradictory to each other, that can be a lot of problems, especially with regulatory. Um, I know in our facility, we used to use the instrument tracking system for most of our record retention but we had to manually put the Bowie Dick tests in folders and keep them because we were using the Impress Connect system. So it wasn't capable of scanning those in and you know holding those records. So we had to do a manual process along with a, a electronic process. But once we moved to SPM, they had the scanner capability. So then we were able to convert and move to completely electronic. So it's, it's important that you can find your records. It's important that they're accurate and it's important that they don't contradict each other for sure. I would 100% agree with all of that. And I would just add that um, essentially you just, you need to be able to be both accountable and able to prove in a court of law and to a surveyor that your records are complete, consistent, and accurate. Um, therefore, the documentation must be retrievable at a moment's notice, and every single item must be traceable through the entire life of the reprocessing cycle from one patient to the next. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I tell you what this is, is this is a tremendous opportunity for a very cool process improvement project, uh, because what you could do is you could document how long it takes you to document all of these things, you know, because that's taking time and time has value assigned to it. So you could actually create like a, a, 
a cross-functional team, uh, get this team together and say, okay, what's the documentation that we absolutely have to have to meet those parameters like Lisa just mentioned and say, okay, let's eliminate the things that we don't have to have. Let's streamline it into a single process that meets these parameters and eliminates the extra waste. How much time does that save? Add a dollar value to that time, boom, you just saved a lot of money and you get to report that to your administrators and look like a hero. Here at Beyond Clean, we are privileged to bring you excellent sterile processing content every single week. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a future video and hit that like button to let us know you appreciate the content. If you've thought of that question you want to send our way, here's the ways you can hit us up. Thanks for watching and spending time with us and we'll catch you in the next video.